And coming east across the Bay Bridge, we come to Berkeley. And here are the Golden Bears, fired up for their meeting with number four ranked USC. They are nine court underdogs, and they need to upset fourth ranked SC to stay spiritually and mathematically in the Pac-8 race and a trip to the Rose Bowl. Here is the Pac-8 standing. USC and UCLA tied for the lead with three victories apiece within the conference. California losing its only game in the Pac-8 last week. They had a lot of yardage, both in the air and on the ground, but they didn't score enough points. And the victors over Notre Dame a week ago, as seen here on ABC, the SC Trojans. They dropped from number three to number four after beating Notre Dame 24 to 17. And John McKay has said with his wit, they win again today, they may drop out of the top 10. And here are the two great runners, the finest running backs perhaps in college football, USC's Ricky Bell, number 42, on the left and on the right, California's number 42, Chuck Muncy. Backfield, number 12 is Joe Roth. Number 99 is Wesley Walker. And in the center, number 33, Blocker, the fullback, Tom Newton. And number 42, the star, wearing the glasses, the spectacles, as he does on every play, Chuck Muncy. So we look forward to his performance, bud. Up front, we have Rivera. Watch him. DeRosa, Harrison, Williams, Nico, Albrecht, and Freitas. So from, let's call it the 14, California's first snap. Joe Roth, number 12. He'll put it in the air today. Tough break, number 99, Wesley Walker, a junior from Carson City. Now we're going to look at the number one offensive unit in the nation, averaging 437 plus yards per game, 247 yards rushing, 189 passing, and here's the passer. Joe Roth, number 12, from his own 20, first and 10. Their deepest penetration thus far. It was the 14 up until this series. A touchback. Chuck Munson. Look at that second effort. There they talk about Bell, and that's our first good look at Muncy. There wasn't any daylight there. It's just a big, strong back that uh, found and made his own daylight. He's There's truly it. an all-purpose man. Chuck Munson. A pass receiver, excuse me, Chris, and also a passer. He's thrown two passes, and he's completed both of his throws. All right, he gained five yards on that play. It's second down and five. No score. About nine minutes to go in the first quarter. Wesley Walker, 99 and 7, Steve Rivera. Set away. Joe Roth, number 12. So, getting the call again, Chuck Muncy, 6'3", 220 pounds. 6.3 yard average, and there's his head coach, Mike White, a graduate of the University of California in 58. His 16th year of coaching, however. Last year, he brought the Golden Bears to a 7-3 and 1 record. Fine young man. Many people just have overlooked the fact that uh, California last year tied Southern California 15 to 15, even though the Trojans went on to win the national championship. Now, big third down play for the Golden Bears. Third and two from their own 28. That's Walker in motion. Muncy going for three. Oh, he's going to get it. Look at that. No wonder he's been touted as Breck a top choice. When you're a football coach, you're looking for a back like that, and then you want to get an offense where he gets to take on the tacklers one at a time, because if they take him on one at a time, it is very difficult to bring him down. Oh, Chuck Muncy, who had three brothers that played both college and professional. Okay, second, make a third down and three now. And he's ahead of that forward stake. What a player. He is unbelievable. You just shake your head, Chris. Chuck Muncy, 14 yards when it looked as though he was going to get about five. He called him an all-purpose back uh, early in the game, uh, and that's what he truly is. He's an exceptional blocker, a remarkable pass receiver, and look at this boy's balance and ability to fight through the tackles. There's just no way that he's going to get away from Bush, but he does. That effort gains yardage to the 40 of SC, and here he comes again, losing his footing. Let's see if the play was whistled dead. All right. That'll be a second down, not a recovery of a loose ball. Same as second down and seven for the Golden Bears, who have looked great. Tied SC last year at the Coliseum. And now this year, need to win to stay in the 
Pack 8 battle for a bid to the Rose Bowl. Muncie and Jones are set in the eye. Walker goes in motion, second and seven. Touchdown, Wesley Walker. He just absolutely beat Hogan. Hogan was with him man for man, but... Uh, that 9-4 speed that we mentioned was all it took. You can see him going in motion there. Walker to the left of your screen. And he was then down, out, and uh, just had speed enough to break it to the outside. As Hogan tried to make the tackle, he turned upfield and into the end zone. All right, that's Ross' sixth touchdown pass of the year. Jim Breach will try to up the count by one. Here's the kick, side wheeling it. Good! 7 to nothing. California over SC. A 62-yard... Variety march by California, and they lead seven to nothing. They're facing a third and five. Here he is, third in the nation, all-purpose running, 164 yards per game. That includes passes caught. All right, third and five from the 29. Big play for California. Rivera trying to get loose in the middle, couldn't do it. Lofty run out to Muncie. Muncie has it. First and goal to go. <laughs> Played that one like an outfielder, Chris. Uh, obviously, the receivers that were called on the play were covered. Uh, Ross rode it around back there, made a very good move, and then dropped it up there, kind of like a hit over the infield. Well, it's fun when the player you're talking about, an all-purpose running, and yard production does that. Chuck Muncie, his third catch of the afternoon. And the California fans hope he gets up and walks away cleanly without any concern about uh, an ankle injury or a knee injury or a possible hamstring pull. They're checking his left ankle. Muncie, four catches, not three, for 49 yards. That was one of the better catches we've seen all year, though. He just had to come back and get the ball. It was not thrown particularly sharply. He just kind of hung up there, and he just went back and got it, but it looks like he's injured a little bit as he's walking off. This is the play again. You can see Roth. Nobody open. He rolls to the outside and then just kind of hangs it up. Watch Muncie come in under that ball. Turned around, reached back, made the reception. And then we seldom have a chance to talk to. You see Bob Orr, the head trainer on the right, and the team physician, Dr. Jerome Patmount, on the left. They're sort of the unheralded or behind-the-scenes people. Chuck Muncie, California's all-time leading rusher. Cal's fifth all-time receiver. Mm. And he is one of the better blockers that has ever played for the University of California. So here they are, faced with a third and goal at the four with the score tied 7 7. A lead pass. Touchdown, George Freitas. Nothing like that uh, running fake, Chris. <laughs> the secondary has got to respect that they've got to come up to tight end. Freitas wide open in the corner. And what a time to receive your first touchdown catch of the year. Number 83, George Freitas. A four-yard strike from Joe Roth. Roth's second touchdown pass of the afternoon. And California is again in the lead with 10.32 to go in the third quarter. The score is 13-7. 80 yards in 11 plays, consuming 4 minutes and 28 seconds. Jim Breach to drive for the point after it's up. Good. 14-7 is the score. So here on a beautiful afternoon and a great Pack 8 battle, we'll take this pause and then return. Trojans have to fight back again following that 18-yard return by Ford. There's Chuck Muncie who sprained his left ankle. The doctor, Pat Mount, was not sure if he would be able to come back into the game, he's loosening up, limbering up. He's and got what a big football player he is. Yeah, you can't be the kind of a player he is without a big heart. And uh, as he jogged that time, it looked to me like he maybe can work the sting out of it. Very unusual. He's nodding his head. I can go. Wearing those glasses instead of contact lenses. But uh, some player. Now let's look at the other 42 in white. Ricky Bell, 60 yards, 14 carries, one touchdown. And there's Mr. Bell. Newton is 33, Muncie is 42, Walker is 99, Rivera is number 7. Oh! What a great afternoon to see two of the finest on the same field. In blue, 
Chuck Muncie. And in the white Trojan jersey, Ricky Bell. Strozer on the tackle. First down, California. Watching Muncie go back toward the huddle, you could tell that that ankle stings him a little bit. But uh, it's the mark of a great football player to shake off those kind of injuries. And when the ball moves, you move full speed. With that Surprising California. The score is tied as we have the first snap now of the fourth quarter. Joe Roth, the quarterback, 42 Muncie. 83 yards and 12 carries. He's caught four passes for 49 yards. And now with the ball at the 49 of SC, it's a second down and about four. Roth calling signals. Trying for the four. And more. What balance. Chuck Muncie of Uniontown, PA. There's just nothing to tackle. Uh, he's just, all you see are shoulders and a helmet. Let's watch this driving position. Weaving in there behind his fullback, Newton. Sliding, finding the hole. Now watch him lower the boom there. Look at that shoulder go down. There's just nothing to hit there. He hit the shoulder and he keeps right on going. John McKay said when he's running upfield, he looks like the side of a house coming at you. 14 all with 11.21 left in the game. This is the 12th play of this drive. The drive starting on the California 13. Waiting for a signal as Roth tries to slash in. Touchdown, California! I'll tell you, there's an awful lot of pushing around that ball when it takes that long to score a touchdown. And Roth knew he better keep it over that white line or at least on top of it. This is college football at its finest. What a way to spend it on an afternoon. And I'm glad you're with us. Watch the quarterback sneak again. You can see the takeoff by the California line. Roth following the blocks of Williams and Harrison. Big pile up Southern California trying to shoot every one of the gaps. The referees could not tell until they unfiled that he had scored. All right. Jim Breach now trying for the point after it's up and it's good. Roth now has really figured in in all three California touchdowns. He threw two and now... He gets another one on the board. It is 21 to 14. Don't go away. There's Joe Roth, who's been involved in all three touchdowns. Two touchdown passes, and he ran for the last one. From the one, 21-14, a nine-point underdog. California is in the lead with 10 minutes and 58 seconds left in the game. And the California defense thinking, if we can stop the Trojans two more times, we can win this one because our offensive team will move the ball if they get it. We've got to stop them twice more. What a credit to the defense. Here are the cheers for that unit. The Cal defense. Now from the 15, first down. Evans giving to Ricky Bell. Boy, he put a move on some of those backs. You can see the comparison uh, between Bell and Muncie. Bell leading, but uh, Muncie has made three very great catches of the football, which have kept the drives going for California. They're both fine football players. Tatupu now with 58 yards and 10 carries. There's Muncie, who has 49 yards on receptions. California, surprisingly, leading USC 21 to 14. USC undefeated. And now, from their own 20, first down. <laughs> oh, he is somebody. Chuck Muncie, a definite candidate for the Heisman Trophy. This is the first showcase for him, bud. They haven't been on television in five year, four years, the University of California, so you haven't heard much about him. But his statistics prove that he's got it. Big, strong, remarkable balance. And I could just feel as the California defensive unit came off the field, Chris, and passed the offensive team coming on. They said, okay, we stopped him. You guys get another one. And now Muncie is off limping. He now has 112 yards today and 15 carries. His fourth consecutive 100-yard game. Seven of eight games this year over 100 yards. Walker in motion. Dixon replaces Muncie. Here's Dixon. That was the first right. and ten. California impressing everyone. And this year in the Pac-8 and the Big Ten, more than one team can go to bowl games. So this is a big one for the Golden Bears. Muncie. Muncie to the 32. This defensive team of Southern California was by far the best in the Pac-8 going into this game. California is living up to their advanced filling as maybe the best offensive team in the country. They have such great balance. Let's watch it again. Muncie reading, cutting up inside of Newton's block, weaving, and then watch him lower those shoulders. 
And a good block from the left guard, Pat Nico. As we look at Chuck Muncie, 121 yards. Bell has 115. <laughs> 27, 14. The spirit of college football. Look at it everywhere. Revival of California football under Mike White. Back to the glory days of Happy Waldorf. And Johnny O. Johnny Olszewski and Jackie Jensen. And remember, California has not defeated Southern California here in Berkeley since 1957. That's why they're happy. 16 yards, one play. Touchdown. Johnny McKay knew that this was going to be an awfully tough one. This same team tied last year's Southern California National Champion 15 to 15. And Jim Breach ups the count, and there's their head coach, a graduate of Cal in 58, Mike West. Mike White, rather. We'll be back after this. So now, the second time in four years, USC has suffered defeat in Northern California. The last Pac-8 loss was in 1971 to Stanford, and now today, California, only their third win over USC in 18 years.